Hey everyone, my name is Emma Amtucho. So back in November, I had my sweet 16, but what's sweet about it, God knows. I woke up on my birthday to my dad saying, good, time for you to get up, get a job, pay some rent and contribute to society or get out. Loving. I felt a bit like Meghan Markle. When my sister failed to get a job last year, she was kicked out. But according to my grandmother, she remains a much loved member of the family. So I actually did take his advice and tried to get a job, but it failed immensely. You know you've reached a low point when you've even been rejected by the reject shop. <sighs> did anyone else notice that people start treating you differently when you turn 16? Like people start expecting things from you and to take things seriously. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I'm basically still a child. Like, I still shop at the Myers Kids Department because of my size. I legit haven't grown since grade six, so why would I want to grow up now? Recently, and everyone in my grade seems to be getting their learner's license, even I got my driver's license last month. And now that I'm on the road, I can honestly say, they've never been more dangerous than they are now. And that's saying something, because my grandfather, who is 80, can barely see or hear, is still driving. Anyways, long story short, my driving may well be the solution to Australia's ageing population problem. <laughs> my friend says it should be called Grand Pin Bowling. Anywho, this year I'm in grade 11, but because I have the mental age of an eight-year-old, I'm seriously so confused with school at the moment. Like my chemistry teacher was telling us the other day how ocean acidification is bad for marine ecosystems due to more acid being in the water. But I thought, what? More acid in the water's bad? Surely not. The fishes would be having a swimming time under those conditions, wouldn't they? You can just picture the fishes now swimming through the corals and sea grasses going, wow, the colours. The colours. Another interesting thing that I noticed when I had my 16th birthday was that people kept saying to me, ah, uh, Emma, I bet you're 16 and you've never been kissed. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> For reminding me that my love life is even lonelier than awkward Zoom breakout room. <laughs> Although, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> My favourite kind of six-pack is a six-pack of bacon and cheese rolls. Not abs anyways. So maybe that's the reason why I'm single. Or maybe it's the fact that the only pickup line I have is, will you be the paddle to my pop? <laughs> yeah, that was about the same reaction some other people had. But it's okay, I don't need anyone. My seatbelt is the only thing I need to hold on to me firmly and tightly in this world. It's probably also the only thing that holds on to that girl that sings that song, Driver's Licence. Now, I think I have to address the current pandemic encapsulating populations, and it seems my home city of Brisbane at the moment. TikTok, that horrible disease. I bet in a decade's time, addiction support groups across the nation will just be filled with Gen Z going, I can't stop doing the wall and the renegade. And there will be people here today like, oh, she did the renegade wrong. Case in point. But there will be people with actual addiction sitting there like, oh, I've lost my wife, my kids, and my whole life savings. But at least I still got Tinder. But TikTok did not just stop at ruining the lives of millions of kids. It has also wrecked mine. There's a popular TikTok song at the moment that goes like, so there you go, oh, you can't make a wife out of hot, oh. Hey, I'm a ho, only a name, not in practice. And now thanks to that song, my already small chance of getting married are completely just chucked out the window. And you may be thinking, oh, Emma, at least you got some salvage in the first part of your last name, Armitage. Armitage Shanks is the name of a bloody toilet brand. Whoop-de-doo me. There is another TikTok 
trend at the moment where people are referring to themselves as the meaning of their name. So I've been Emma Toilet Whore. Thank you. 